Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now this episode of Food and the Single Guy is a requested one and it is requested by one of my friends in America. His name is Alexander Lee and Alexander wanted me to show you or to show him how this dish is made. Now what I'm talking about is long beans or Chinese yard long beans with shrimp. Now this is a typical lunch or sometimes even breakfast dish in my country and basically what it is it is bread rolls that they slice open and they top that with a savory with a very hearty filling such as stewed chicken or stewed beef or whatever now of course i'm going to post all the ingredients for you in the information box below the video but let me just say this i was taught how to make this dish when i was I think 11 or 12. If you've read my cookbook, Amaru Cooks, A Touch of Suriname, True Food and Anecdotes, you may have read that my mother was always stationed as a teacher elsewhere in the country, far, far away from the hustle and bustle from the capital city. And um, we used to live in a very small town and there were only a, a, like a handful of Chinese families living there. And they taught me how to make this dish. And this is the way they taught me how to make it. So I am going to show you how I was taught how to make it. But if you make it a different way, go ahead and do you. I will say this though, in all of my cooking, in all of my videos here on YouTube, I always try to stay as close as I possibly can to the original recipe. I'm not sure if there is an original or an, an authentic recipe for this dish, I don't know. But like I said, I will be showing you how, how I was taught how to make this. So without further ado, let us continue. Okay, you guys, so what I have here are the yard long beans and this is what they look like. And before you use them, before you cook them, you have to remove the tips and the ends as you can see right over there. And the way you do that is very simple. You get you a sharp knife and then you simply remove the tips and the ends. That's it. So when you're all done, they should look a little something like this. See what I'm talking about? There we go. And then we're going to wash them and then we're going to chop them up in nice little bite-sized pieces. Okay, you guys, so I've washed the beans. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop them up into nice little bite-sized pieces of about an inch in length. So, here we go. Just like that. See? Let me show you. See what I'm talking about? This is what you need. And away we go. So, when you're all done, this is what your kousaban should look like. We are now ready to continue. Okay, you guys, moving on to the rest of the ingredients for this dish. Of course, over here we have the beans nicely chopped. I will be seasoning this dish with some chicken powder. I will be infusing the oil with some of this shrimp paste powder, also known as trasi. I will also be adding some sesame oil. I love the taste of sesame oil in this dish. And be mindful of the use of this sesame oil, you guys, because it will overpower your dish. One drop, max two drops will do just fine. And what we have here, these are my shrimp, which I've seasoned with some black pepper and some garlic powder. And what I also have here are my onion and my garlic. And I have used half of an onion and three cloves of garlic. Over here, I have my sliced galangal root, also known as sweet ginger. And over here, we have half of a finely chopped scotch bonnet pepper. All right? All right. And trust me when I tell you that the galangal root will add a very sweet and very delicate taste to your food. So next, in my pan over here, I am going to heat about two spoonfuls of sunflower oil, one, a two, just like so. All right, you guys, so as soon as the oil is hot, we are going to infuse it with half a tablespoon of the shrimp paste powder, just like that. And you're going to give it a bit of a stir. Don't let it burn, don't let it burn. Next, we're going to add the galangal root. 
just like so. And you're going to allow this to cook for about a couple of seconds. Like I said, we're going to infuse the oil with the aromatics. Just like that. It smells delicious already. So next I'm going to add the pepper. Ooh, honey. And immediately after that, we're going to add the onion and the garlic. And we're going to give it a good stir yet again. baby this is looking good it is smelling good mm. and don't cook this on high heat you guys and that is when technology failed me because the memory card was full something told me just look up to the camcorder and that is when I noticed that the screen was black but we didn't miss a hell of a lot. The only thing that you didn't see that I couldn't film, I should say, is me adding the beans to the pan. That's it. So we're gonna pick it up from where I add the shrimp to the vegetables, all right? All right. So after about two minutes, you're gonna add the shrimp. And you wanna keep in mind that I'm using pre-cooked shrimp so we're not going to overcook them. And make sure to cook this with a continuous stir. So next I'm gonna season my beans with half a teaspoon of the chicken powder and one drop, two drops of sesame oil. And there you have it you guys. Done in under six minutes. Now we are ready to top the sandwich rolls with this goodness. And there you have it, our broche kausaban karnale, or in English, our bread roll with long beans and shrimp. Oh yes, now I was fresh out of vinegar so I could not make the pickled cucumber, but just picture the pickled cucumber on the sandwich, okay? Now Alexander, I hope that I've done you justice by showing you how I make this, and um, I want to thank you for sending in your request. To all of you, I want to say thank you for watching, happy cooking, happy eating. Until we meet again, have a great weekend you guys. Take care. Bye.